You know I'm ready to film a video and I got my cozy socks on. Okay, let's do this. Hey guys, and welcome back to Do Without a Dime with Catherine. It is 2018 and that means we're kicking off tons of budget-friendly organizing videos on this channel. And today we're starting off with the kitchen. And one of the most important things you can have in your kitchen or maybe in your mudroom, that is a command center or a place where all of those important dates and documents go. This is like the starting point for having a really Really productive year and today I'm gonna give you some extremely easy tips so this will be a system that actually works for your family my first tip is to have a calendar that's gonna actually help you stay organized my good friend and I always joke around about this cartoon where two dinosaurs are watching Noah's Ark sail away and they're like crap that was today so that is totally me. If I do not write something down, I will totally compartmentalize it even if I'm working with a calendar. So having a calendar that shows the day and then divides up each section by person is an amazing way to stay organized and see what everybody has going on on that day. These can be really expensive. I have one on my blog. You can put the entire thing together for like four bucks. It's super easy. Just put a little hole punch in the top, connect it on the back with some dollar store tape or even if you know how to make those little binder systems, you could do that too. Use a command hook, hang it up on your fridge. Use cardstock paper so it's nice and thick and easy to write on. This is such an easy way to stay organized on a tiny budget. And if it doesn't work for you, don't break it up by family member. Break it up by personal time, your work time, maybe the meal plans that you want to have that week. It's just such an easy visual way to see everything. And every time I talk to somebody who starts using this system, they stinking love it. So I'll make sure to leave that link down below if you want to check it out and try something like this on your fridge. My next tip is to have a place for incoming paperwork. My favorite way to do this is a clear plastic organizer. I will find it and link it down below and have a place for all of those items that you're constantly accessing. Maybe it's recipes, maybe it's coupons. I tend to like accordion files because it accommodates all of the paperwork. I don't use this for my incoming mail, but I do use this for things that I'm accessing all of the time. It makes it really, really easy. And if you have a home management binder, this is also a great place to set it. I just like how it's easily accessible so it doesn't get shoved into a drawer and then you forget about it. If you're looking for easy ways to hang things on your fridge, I love bulletin boards. They're just a couple of bucks. I think they look really nice and they're easy ways to keep things accessible. I also love the Dollar Tree little clip magnet clips. They're awesome. And it's a great way to keep pens on the side of the fridge so all of those things are in one place. When you're organizing something, keeping all the things that you use together is gonna really help make sure you are more successful. Another essential on our fridge is a dollar store magnetic notepad. This is where we add grocery things and anything we need to buy during the week as soon as we think about it. So it's organized in one place and easy to make our weekly list. Make sure to leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see me organize next. I've got lots of stuff up my sleeve and I definitely wanna hear from you guys. The links are down below to everything that I talked about in this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, and <laughs> he is just straight living his truth. <laughs>